Hey there, this is Darren, uh, day 37. Are you spending enough time around with, surrounded by reading, listening to what inspires you? Uh, if you know my story, you know I love the movie Rudy. Uh, and if you're following along yesterday, I, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little choked up. Um, well, sorry, not sorry. Yesterday, I ordered a bunch of books that are about real life, real life stories, quote unquote. And I realized I had this book and I never read it. And I was looking through it last night and I found a story. I, I was just looking through the table of contents and hey there, I was looking through the table of contents on about this and it popped up that Rudy... Um, was inspired by Rocky and I just started at that point and it was I remember sitting down and having lunch with him at Cheesecake Factory and how I was more inspired by how the movie came about than the Rudy story itself and that's one of the things that inspired me that I gotta make my movie but the more I read about it the more I realized man all the things he was up against all the things that were challenges and remember, your failures, your conflicts, those are the reason your story has value. So embrace them. It was funny when I was reading this, he talked about right after the movie came out, he decided he wanted to be a speaker. He was preparing himself for a year. Uh, and his after the movie came out, his very first speech was to a group of four and five year olds. And so he was all pumped and excited and he goes in there. And the teacher never explained to the kids that Sean Astin was an actor. And so when the real Rudy showed up to give the speech, they were all like, you're not real, you're a fake. And his first speech bombed because of the setup. And yeah, setting your audience up is critical, but... Uh, he talked about some other ones that went great because the people had seen the movie first and there's just so many stories. But anyway, this isn't about him. This is about you and just surrounding yourself with that, that stuff. If you know me, you know, I'm dyslexic and I don't like to read. So to sit down and read a chapter was something, but I got so caught up in his story about creating the movie and all of the craziness and wildness and the people who took advantage of him and wow I, I couldn't stop reading I ended up stopping last night at like one in the morning which I go to bed at like 11 and then I just sat down after getting some things done and my work done and I finished it so I I read half the book in like two half days which that never happened, I don't think, in my lifetime. So, for you, are you spending your time with the things that inspire you? Are you trying to learn more about the things that inspire you, going deeper? I learned some new things that I hadn't learned, uh, and it just it got me, and it was so inspirational. But this may not be inspirational to you, and that's okay. But what is inspirational to you? And surround yourself with that. It's going to keep you going when the bad days happen. Uh, hey, Cecile. Um, so surround yourself with inspiration. Surround yourself with more of it. Go deeper. Learn the things that inspire you. Go learn more about the story uh, because truly we need to have that in our hard drive, the hard drive of our brain to help us through those times that it's not going to work out so well. So surround yourself with inspiration. Go and seek it out. Shut off the news and inspire yourself by putting yourself in that cone of inspiration. I don't know. I'm just babbling here. I'm still kind of choked up. Hope that helped. See ya.